So you've created a Power BI app and you think it's absolutely fantastic. But what do your end users think of it? The only way to find out is to actually ask them for feedback. And of course there's different ways to do it, but today I'm going to show you my preferred way. And my preferred way is to actually add the feedback form directly into the app. So how do you do that? Let's assume this is our report or this is our app which includes three reports. And what we want to do is add an additional link um, in which the user can navigate to the feedback form. The feedback form has already been created using Microsoft Forms. So we just ask the user for five simple questions about the report. Of course, we could just send out the link to the feedback form and they could fill it out, but I just think it's nicer to include it into the report. So how to, the way you can do that is that you need to navigate to the, uh, the workspace and then click update app, go to navigation and now select new link. We need to give a name to our link and this is actually what the end user will see. So let's call it please leave a feedback. And then I need to add the link to the actual Microsoft Forms page. And in order to find this out, let's go to the form, select share, and then actually we need the embed link. So let's select the embed icon and copy the code. Go back to Power BI and we paste in the code. Now we need to be careful because we actually don't need the entire code. So we delete everything before um, HTTPS and also we delete everything after true that's it and sorry I didn't delete this part here we go and we want to select content area in the open in drop down because that means that the feedback form will be uh, shown inside the app you'll, you'll see in a second um, that's basically already it. So when I click update app, again update, and I'll go to the app. I still have the three reports, but now I also have this please leave a feedback, which brings me to the feedback form, which the user can now fill out. Um, this field is optional, just leave it blank. These ones I can just move around and submit and when I go back to Microsoft Forms now, um, this is where I get all the responses. I need to refresh because now it should be four responses and I can analyze the feedback. What you can also do is you can actually connect to this data from the feedback form with Power BI again. Of course, this view in the responses tab in Forms is not bad, but you might want to just look at it in, in Power BI. So how you can do this is quite easy because um, what Microsoft Forms does, it's saving the results of, of your feedback in or of the form in an Excel file on SharePoint. So the only thing you need to do is to connect to that specific Excel file and you then have, uh, you can build your, your report in Power BI and, uh, and analyze uh, the feedbacks from, from your end users. So let's see if that works. So when I refresh the report here, it should also turn from three feedbacks to four feedbacks. Fantastic. So of course now with this, you might also want to publish this um, result report to, to the app. So people can not only leave feedback, but also look at the feedback. So let's quickly do this. So publish, make sure to publish it to the same workspace. Didn't I click publish? Yeah, I did. Okay, team public, that's the one. And That was weird. Anyway, once it is published, go back to the workspace, 
make sure that this feedback report is also included in the app and when we say update app go to navigation what we could do is actually group the two feedback objects so the form and the report into um, a separate section so let's say new section we call it feedback and now we can allocate these two to the feedback um, the form on top and then the report underneath and now we update the app again go to the app and voila we now have a group or a section um, called feedback and in here I have the form and the report so I would say this is really the best way to to add a feedback form personally I I'm not sure whether I would really include the, the report which really shows the, the already provided feedback in the same app um, but of course this could also be added into a different app or into a different workspace um, this is just to show you know the possibilities you have what you could also do actually is to create a power automate flow which automatically refreshes the data set of this feedback report every time somebody leaves a feedback what do you think is that something you will use or do you not ask people for feedback at all or you do it a different way um, i'd also like to learn so please please let me know